Greetings. This is Greg Bem, one of the Spokane Community College librarians. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate accessing and using the database known as ERIC. First, start at the SEC Library homepage and click on the link to A to Z databases. That will take you to this page. Once you are here, filter for E databases by clicking on the letter E. Scroll down to ERIC. Click on ERIC, the title, and it will open in a new tab. This is the main screen for the ERIC database. The title and logo are in the middle of the screen, and a search bar is located right below. Beneath that are two checkboxes, peer review and full text available on ERIC. This is a public-facing database that brings together numerous articles and other resources into a central space. Some of the resources are not available as full text, so I do recommend selecting full text when doing your search. Also notice that there is an advanced search tips link. Clicking on that will take you to another page that describes various ways you can construct your search terms to more effectively and efficiently use ERIC. From the main screen, let's search the ERIC collection for play with the full text available on ERIC check. Clicking on search will load the search results in a new screen. Similar to other databases, the search results take up the majority of the center and right side of the screen, and the filters take up the left side of the screen. Notice that there are only a few filters available, but they're very effective. Publication date, descriptor, which is similar to subject terms, the source or publication of the resource, author, publication type, education level, audience, location, and so on. In the center of the screen, you will note that there are 16,000 results for this search on play. Each search result has the title at the top, and then the authors and the publication name and the publication date, and then a snippet of the abstract or summary of this source. Finally, there are descriptive terms, the descriptors, listed below. If you want, you can click on the download full text to go directly to the PDF. Note that any of the sources that are peer reviewed will be listed as such. Let's click on the link for the first source. This takes, to the re takes us to the record for this source. This will include much of the same information we saw in the search results and more. You're able to read the full abstract here and get a full list of descriptors and other metadata. If we click on download full text, it will open the PDF in a new tab if we have the browser as our PDF reader, or it will open the PDF in whatever our PDF reader is on our computer. From here, we can read the full text of this article. This concludes the demonstration of ERIC. If you have any questions, please reach out to the SCC librarians. We're happy to help. Thanks so much for watching and take care.